welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new vlog i'm gonna do a shop with me vlog today i am up early i'm out i hit the roads this morning i headed to well i'm heading to ikea and so i figured i might as well bring you guys along with me show you some new in bits anything that i do end up picking up as well i'll haul at the end of the video however i am an hour early i didn't realize ikea doesn't open until 10 so i've come to a shopping complex nearby which has a starbucks which is going to be my first port of call and then it's also got like a next outlet poundland TK Maxx, Wilco's, The Works, there's an Aldi here as well. There's just a whole range. In fact, <laughs> I'm sat next to the range. There's a whole range of shops. I'm just going to have a quick browse over the next hour or so until Ikea opens. Then I'm going to take you with me, show you some new and bits, get some meatballs for lunch because how can you go to Ikea and not have meatballs? And I'm doing a solo trip today. I'm not with anyone, which to be honest, I quite like shopping solo. Anyone else? I feel like you can go at your own pace. You can go exactly what shops that you want to go to. I've dropped off a Barney for a day at doggy daycare today, which he loves. I was trying to pick like one day a week whereby he can run around with his friends and then I can go out and about shopping and let the builders crack on because it's very noisy back at the house today but anyway I hope you're all relaxed and ready for today's video I hope you enjoy spending the day with me coming shopping if you haven't already make sure you've got the obligatory coffee in hand tea snacks put your feet up light the candles and let's go shopping I could be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely we could be gazing at the stars but now it feels just like i wandered off into a room and closed the door behind me i never gave the key to you even though i wanted to i should be trying something new but now my body's aching I'm tired of dwelling in the dark, it's just that my heart can't take it I didn't know what it would cost me when I let you go I feel alone and I'm just singing in I've made it! We made it to Manchester Ikea I did pick up some bits which I'll share with you when I get back home But for now, it's the big question is meatballs or shop first? I might start shopping and then get meatballs en route we'll see we'll see i'm also definitely gonna get a trolley because you never know what you might find when you go to ikea it's like a kind of like a b&m type place isn't it where you go in not really needing anything or maybe just one or two bits and you end up that last section just gets me an ikea <laughs> and this one has a good bargain corner too anyway right let's let's go so as I mentioned previously, this is the IKEA Manchester store, which is in Ashton under Lyon. Quite often in previous videos, you'll have seen I go to the Warrington store as well. Just switch it up depending on how I'm feeling that day and when I last went to the IKEA, just so that I can maximise spotting some new in finds. So today is the Ashton store. I loved this linen cushion. There was a lot of kind of sofas that I was keeping my eyes peeled for for future, along with sofa beds as well because we do have in mind potentially putting a sofa bed up in the top floor so that we can duplicate it from uh, Tom's office and wardrobe space to also having it as a spare bedroom should we need to. I also love just shopping around Ikea mainly for inspo as well on how they style their shelves. I really love the particularly dark areas that they have, the dark kind of office spaces, bookcases. I just think it's so nice and definitely Food for thought for the future. Also their kitchen section's amazing as well. If you're looking to renovate or build a new kitchen, I feel like they have upped their game when it comes to the kitchen design section. They did also have quite a bit of construction and new developing areas within this store. Nevertheless, there's still obviously plenty to browse. This one is across four floors as well. So yes, lots to browse. 
And of course, the market hall section as you lead into where the, like the flower shop is, all the home decor pieces are. I did spot a few new in items that I'd never seen before. I also then, of course, always end up in the circular hub, which was once called the bargain corner, which I still refer to it as that. It's basically X display items or things that maybe are a little bit faulty at reduced prices. And then, of course, the final pit stop meatballs and chips time we're back home cheers this is actually an ikea mug seems they were doing an ikea video I quite often get asked where this mug is from it's really nice and just i feel really awkward i'm filming at the front of my house and obviously with the natural light and everything i've got the window right in front of me and the neighbors are all getting back from work and stuff they can see me filming i'm just hoping that they can't actually see me filming but they can definitely see me talking to someone or something it's a bit of dust in the air anyway i'm back a very successful shopping trip i have literally been shopping all day it's now 20 past four and you guys saw me this morning out from 9 a.m so it has been a very long day hence why this coffee is very much needed I decided to pop into a few shops. I did also pick up some home bargains bits and Dunelm bits of which I've got enough from those shops to do entire haul videos because I just got so much and I'm so happy with them. So I'm going to include them as in a separate video because I kind of wanted the focus of this one to be on Ikea. So I'll start with the Ikea bits. Oh my goodness, this bag is heavy. This is the bag of goodies that I have picked up. No big furniture items today, although I did try out and test out some sofa beds. I was thinking of sofa bed in my filming room as well, so that they're just an extra place for guests to stay. However, my friend Lydia, she pointed out, why not just get a big, like, king size, whatever, blow up mattress that are actually quite comfortable and that you can just kind of store away when guests aren't staying because let's face it the amount of times that we have guests over is minimal the amount of times I use that filming room pretty much every single day so it would be more beneficial for me to do that I think in, in my filming space at least anyway um so I think that's what I'm going to do in mine but like I said Tom does kind of want an area that he can sit down up there so I did test out a couple sent him some photos we're thinking about it but if you have any recommendations of good sofa beds then do let me know because we want it to be comfortable as well that's the main thing so anyway i didn't pick up any big furniture items i did get a couple of bags that bag actually this is one of their new style um like shopper bags it's not a zip upable one so it is just open however i did pick up one of these ones as well just because they're so handy they're about three pounds those ones though the clear ones are great for storage i may even pick up some more and actually use those within our basement once we've fully renovated it one of the rooms is going to be a dedicated storage room so i think it'd be quite handy to have boxes and bags like that that are all clear so yes i'll label them up of course would we expect anything less However, I do also think having clear storage is so beneficial because obviously you can see where everything is. So anyway, maybe picking up more of those in the future. I also picked up this. This is a new item that I've never seen in there before. They've got a whole section called the Valvodad section, which is in the cleaning kitchen section, whereby this is like a dish rack for all your um, clean pots to dry on, like a drying rack. They do have other things that you can pop on top of it if you want plate storage or things like that but I think I'm just going to have this set out with this as well which I thought because it fits perfectly along one side like so I thought that could be kind of at the back end of the sink so that is where 
the back of the sink is and I'm gonna have my like cleaning brushes and stuff in here and then some like either nice looking hand wash and hand cream there or maybe washing up liquid there or something I don't know yet I haven't decided what as a floor or something but yeah the fact that that fit perfectly I thought I would pick that one up I think these were that was five pounds this was three pounds let me get my receipt three pounds this one was and then again from that same section something that I have never seen before is this little cutlery holder it's got the little section at the bottom which has a metal excuse me <laughs> all my things falling over it has a section at the bottom which is like a little metal drainage tray type thing which sits in between this tray and this so that any kind of drying cutlery utensils you want to store in this to dry then that is for that however they did also i've seen on their website style this up with some actual cleaning brushes some nice looking ones and kind of have that set aside similar to where this goes maybe alongside it so yeah this one was four pounds i like the design of it it kind of looks like a industrial bin <laughs> but anyway picked that up i also got this for tom's room this one is from the Perplinga, no, Perpingla range, and it is a laundry bag. So he needs a, a new laundry bag up there. He's currently got the H&M one. It was one that I bought years ago now, and it's looking very worn. I mean, it's housed our dirty laundry for years and years. Now I've got in our master the linen bags which I mean Tom could put his washing in there but because his floor upstairs has all of his clothes and everything he usually gets changed up there so he ideally needs a laundry bag up there so anyway we're going to get rid of that H&M one it's very tatty it's very old and I thought he would really like this one it's got the drawstring top which mine has as well so you can't see the dirty laundry in it that's what I like it's quite a big one 30 litre capacity hold on I tell a lie 100 litre capacity 26 gallons there you go how much was this one 15 pounds not so bad i thought this photo frame was beautiful it's from the vastan head range i hope i'm not butchering all these names but this is a really deep if you can tell it's like kind of really set back the photo frame and it's got the past part too i just thought the nice thick chunky frame looks lovely it has got the little stand at the back if you wanted to rest it like that but because it is so thick it's quite nice to be able to just kind of have it freestanding so that one was only five pound fifty i definitely don't need any more mugs these ones that ikea do are my fave i do love a coffee in this mug but i had spotted a new style which i thought i would pick up mainly to share with you guys but also I'm using that as an excuse to just add a mug to my ever-growing mug collection. I loved this colour more than anything. It's just plain and simple, but it is a beautiful, rich, creamy stone colour that I just thought looked lovely. It's got a little kind of handle detail. I mean, it's very simple. Nice stone mug. I just thought this was so affordable at £1.50 and it's such a beautiful colour. That's, that's my excuse for picking it up. Next item that I got, just some more coffee. This is a ground coffee that we use in our filter coffee machine. It's actually really nice. They've got a few different ones. I've only actually ever tried this one. I just go with this one because it's dark roast. The other ones are medium roast or whole beans. But yeah, I pick up this one because I think we both both myself and tom quite like a rich flavored coffee there was one other item that i had my eyes peeled for as i was looking around you may remember from the vlog footage i showed a beautiful quite big pestle and mortar in this like black marble i thought it was beautiful and it was only 10 pounds and i took a snapshot of it checked online it said it was in stock in the manchester um store so i went around the entire shop looking out for it got to the tills didn't come across it and i did ask is there any way like apparently this is in stock but i couldn't find it I was, I was keeping an eye out is there any way someone could maybe grab me one or um let me know exactly where it is and she just said yeah we can't go and get you one and i was thinking oh I'm, well, I'm about to go through the tills anyway 
I just took that as a sign to just leave it on this occasion. I do have a pestle and mortar. It's not as big though. Um, and it is a beautiful stone color. I do love it. And let's face it, we never use it. I'm definitely thinking more um, of styling it in the future. I think on a beautiful island, to have a nice pestle and mortar out would be lovely. But maybe I'll take that as a sign to like shop for that nearer the time once our kitchen is built because i mean we haven't even built the extension yet so i need to just slow down i did however spot this which is a beautiful new item from ikea it's a well they call it a jewelry tray so again it's that stone kind of color which i am loving a really nice kind of beige stone the top part of this is kind of like a shiny ceramic finish and this side is a stone matte finish so i like that contrast and it does dip in the middle so it is perfect for that for like a jewelry bowl jewelry tray that you could have out on display i even think more so as a styling piece with some other bits on you could have it in a bathroom with some bathroom bits you could have it in a bedroom with a candle reed diffuser maybe a little incense stick something like that but it's beautiful i couldn't leave it and it's from the hunnans gubar <laughs> from that range and this was i think it was 10 pounds it was eight pounds oh, it's cheaper than i thought and then of course the actual bag that i picked up was two pounds i think this is a new style i've never seen it before so that is everything that i got from ikea as i said i did pop into a couple of other shops so i popped into b&m and spotted a couple of things that i picked up i got these no hide in it the safer raw hide alternative premium dog chews beef rolls they had chicken rolls as well i'm always on the hunt for new dog chews that will be long lasting for barney because he seems to just get through them so quickly i I'm loving the whole reset day vlogs that seem to be going around. I love nothing more than an organized life, cupboards, wardrobes, drawers. So I definitely want to do more of these within my vlogs, like this kind of style of vlogging, because I love watching it. I love doing it myself, which is weird, I know. So anyway, I saw these and I thought these would be perfect for a little insert into one of those videos. So I got these. I honestly can't believe these are from B&M. So firstly, let's start with this jar. This was five pounds. They had quite a few of these. I was very tempted to get a set. Love the look of it. Love the kind of mango wood topper. I'm getting quite a lot of that recently within my videos. Have you noticed? Zara Home, Primark Home, that kind of thing. Aldi as well. I just love that look. But then I also picked up these labels, which are a pack of 16. And I love how simple they are. They're just... A really basic font and each label has the actual product a little line and then kitchen on so you've got all of these ones and then you also have these ones as well so for this jar in particular I was thinking oats Tom's been having a lot of overnight oats so we could put some of that in there granola could maybe do like a homemade granola and pop it in here or obviously like flour or pasta and maybe have it out on the side or in a cupboard it still looks lovely yeah five pounds for that and the labels were only two pounds and then i popped into Pathland, which i feel like it's been a while they had lots of mother's day bits and easter bits i just picked up really randomly some numbers for our bins and then also i picked up this from astonish it's a window and glass cleaner you rarely see window and glass cleaners that are fragrance and we use these quite a lot because obviously for all our windows, mirrors, our glass lights behind me as well. In the scent eucalyptus and lemon, I thought that would smell lovely and fresh. And I quite like Astonish products. They seem to be a little less harsh, which is good, especially when you've got a little uh, fur baby running around. Next up, I saw this a two pack of boot socks. They were three pound each. In fact, it's three pound each. They were three pound for the pair. So one pound fifty each. Light grey in a kind of cable knit design, and then also a black. So moving into spring soon. Spotted a couple of floras that I thought I would get my hands on. I definitely want to do either a spring clean or maybe a bit of spring cleaning within one of my videos. I picked up some news of floras. This one is the Cypress and Sea Sage, and this one is Hello Spring. Hello Spring is green floral blend 
based on wild spring flowers and the uplifting citrus notes. And then this one is an energizing blend of herbs and citrus combined with refreshing sea salt, geranium and amber and a cedar base. I love this one, it's actually really nice. Perfect kind of spring scent with that kind of like woody and cedar undertone to it, kind of bringing you through from um, winter. So anyway, picked up those. And then I also popped into the works where I picked up a couple of bits as well. Firstly, this <laughs> mini eggs cookbook. With Easter around the corner, I thought I would do some mini eggs baking. I love my mini eggs and seeing as though you only get them one time a year. I mean, they do prolong that period as long as possible. I'm pretty sure I remember seeing mini eggs coming out in stores in February. <laughs> but yeah, there's loads of different recipes. Mini eggs Rocky Road. Ooh, peanut butter cups. Oh, mini eggs chocolate espresso mousse. Mini eggs latte. Waffles, muffins. It's on sale from 9 99 down to £6. And then for a little decorative item, I thought this wooden egg was lovely. It was only £1.50. And I thought just sat out with maybe a little bunny. Also, I need to actually get out my Easter decor and see if I want to put anything out. I'm kind of holding off seasonally decorating until we've renovated just purely because decorating for me is better suited downstairs where there's also like a dining table we could do a bit of a tablescape or um have like the windowsills decorated and hosting spaces decorated whereas upstairs i don't want to clutter with seasonal decor and keep changing it out so anyway i thought one pound fifty was a bargain for it you could even do a little diy and create your own font uh design on here that says hello spring or happy easter something like that then i also got these for one pound fifty and it's a pair of dice now call me crazy but I have a vision in mind for styling up the bookshelves in what will be our dining room. As and when out and about, I've been seeing games that are aesthetically pleasing. I know this is going to... Some of you are. Especially if you're not like a puzzler or a gamer or anything like that. But I love a good puzzle, love a good jigsaw, Sudoku. I've been doing that Wordle on my phone every day. I just love the idea of where our dining table is going to be. We're going to have some nice shelving. I'm going to style it up. But I'm also going to have some drawers in there. And I do like the idea of maybe having some games. So I've got quite a collection that's growing. I'm sure you'll see this in a future video of everything that I've got so far. But I thought either styled up on top of a coffee table book, kind of just styled up like so on top or even within a drawer to actually use. We need to, I liked the fact that they were wooden and quite big dice. I've even got like a little wooden domino set. I've got bookshelf edition of the Monopoly and Scrabble and Cluedo. I've got a couple of bits really. Do you know what I would really like actually? A chess board but like a really nice one because i think that would be really nice to have one out somewhere and tom doesn't know how to play chess he tried to teach me when, to, when we went to marrakesh and i mean that didn't last long that teaching session was just like come on let's just, let's go out and explore instead of trying to teach me how to play chess but i do want to learn yeah maybe a nice chess board would be nice in our little kind of dining room games parlor. My vision is there and I find the best thing to do is shop as and when you see things, pop them away because that way I'm not spending all in one go and I'm not out to find something and end up not grabbing a bargain or not finding the exact one that I want just because I want it then and there. So yeah, that's why I like to buy when I see and stockpile away. That's why I've been doing that with like nice looking cookbooks for the kitchen as well. But anyway, I feel like I'm a rambling. I hope you have enjoyed this come shop with me and haul part to this video. Thanks for sticking with me thus far. If you have reached the end of this video, do give me a thumbs up and let me know. And do subscribe if you haven't already. It would mean the world. I'm gonna go pick Barney up now from daycare. I'm gonna take all my makeup off, edit this video, and hope to see you all very, very soon in my next one. Bye guys.